Ma'am Lince Malasig. I am Michelle De La Serna and I will be your student nurse for today. So how would you like me to call you? Lince would be fine. Okay, so Lince, for today we will be doing the control and um, huff coughing. So this will help um, in your respiratory functioning and it will inhibit any airway collapse. And also it helps when you have um, prolonged coughing so you don't feel worn out. So um, is it okay if I teach you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I have my patient um, assume a semi-sitting position. So then say what I want you to do is to inhale, but then if you exhale, I want you to cough it out two times. Um, so you could cough it out here. So could you inhale and exhale, cough out. <coughs> okay, that's good. So okay, this time I want you to lean forward a bit and then I want you to inhale. And then as you exhale, I want you to do a huff sound like like that okay so inhale and exhale okay and do it again and exhale so I want you to do it now a bit more rapidly okay so you could do it for me okay so thank you so then say I want you to rest for a while and um, avoid or restrain from prolonged coughing okay so now I will also take my patient to listen for the lung sounds. Um, so since my patient is a female patient and she can't take off her shirt, so we will assume that she has her shirt off as we can't auscultate over a gown. So I want you to breathe in and out normally, okay? So now we will auscultate the posterior thorax. So, um, how was the exercise? It was fine. Okay, so um, you managed to do the exercises and do you think you could do it the next time around? Mm -hmm. On your own? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, remember you can do these exercises um, anytime. Anytime you feel like doing it and especially if you have um, prolonged coughing so you don't feel worn out. So, um, thank you very much, Lindsay.